hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can smell good for your husband for your men for your boyfriend and how you can taste good in bed trust me a lot of men a lot of men especially married men even like men in general doesn't like to tell a girl their wives that you smell when they smell funny like you smell kind of funny they don't like to say that. I don't think any man will want, well, maybe some men are brave enough to like just say, but I don't think any man would just want to like hurt their feelings, hurt our feelings by telling us, girl, you didn't like, you know. But when when men start like kind of like shifting away from you and trying to avoid you, you know, you need to start checking yourself. You know, when you're doing everything right, your food, sm your food tastes good, smell good, but your body doesn't smell good, girl, you need to start like finding a solution. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong down there probably ampied mouth down there so like yeah I'm gonna be telling you tips on what I do and how you can smell and taste delicious that would lock your man down down that you would never even look out but I'm kidding but like some men are just dog they just want to look out but honestly like if you start smelling funny your husband will look outside your boyfriend will start like ah, what is this I can't do this anymore you know so I'm gonna be telling you everything that you can do to taste delicious and better and smell good in bed i am making this video for grown-ass women on my channel so if you think you're young you don't want to see this video or you don't want to hear about it this video is not for you please click out and you know but like if you think you want to learn and even if you're young if you're 18 21 20 19 it doesn't matter and you're not married or you don't have a boyfriend yet you still want to like if you think you want to learn how to like you know smell good taste good in bed when you start like you know when you get to that stage keep watching and if you're new to my channel my name is abby please i would love you to subscribe join your sister i post videos on weight loss and stuff like this and yeah i'm so excited to be talking about this because it's highly requested and i'm like oh should i make it should i not but i was like you know what i'm, I'm gonna make it because a lot of people will find it helpful so with that being said make sure you subscribe please and turn on the bells on so it will let you know when i upload videos anyways let's get to the video my first tips that i'm gonna be telling you i know you heard this all the time drink a lot, lot of water drink um eat more fruits uh eat more pineapple you probably heard a lot i'm gonna get there in a second but as as for us women married women married uh single whatever it doesn't matter but because i'm married and i've been married for a while so i'm gonna be Using myself as an example and my husband we forgot to take care of ourselves especially from the inside if our inside is not perfect let's say like you're thinking there's a lot on my we always have a lot on our mind especially we as a mom our mind in our head and our mind and we forgot to take care of our outside body and once you start ignoring your outer part our outer body you start looking weird you start like you know smelling funny forget to like give on you know do what what is right forget to like do your nails forget to like do your hair and yeah you forget all of that things and it affects us so much it affects the way our husband sees us our boyfriend sees us it just affects everything like that so make sure that <clears throat> You are happy on the inside we all have problems we all have something that we deal with that affect us you know all the time and it makes us like ignore ourselves so when you're happy from the inside when you when you're happy when you like less stress you remember oh my gosh you know i need to take care of my hair i need to go to the salon to get this done yes that's when the like the taking care of part start coming in but when you don't remember when money is a problem and um, thinking about your children thinking about food you think sorry you're thinking about what you're gonna eat tonight you're thinking about so many things like, i don't know like so many things bothers us and we start to ignore ourselves and these will drive your man away from you you need to look beautiful you need to look presentable if you don't look presentable in the morning when he's leaving you know what i mean by the time he comes back or by the time you see him later you you want to look as smash as possible like oh babe you look hot you need to like take care of that you have to drink water more water you know eat more fruits more pineapples those things renew you renew your lady part you renew rejuvenate your lady part so like yeah drink more water of course when you drink more water you can tell from your body your skin your hair grows more your nails grows more and yeah so of course water is good and if you don't know fruit is like fruit is really good for your lady part which is like when you eat more pineapple, I know you guys have heard of it. Pineapple, like some people are allergic to pineapple. 
but you can always like soak pineapple in water wash down there it renews it trust me it renews it it makes it smell good it like it do wonders for your lady part and you are gonna be as tasting as pineapple trust me another thing that i'm gonna be talking about is avoiding body spray i don't know if you heard this before but i'm gonna repeat it do not use any any spray perfume body spray or whatever do not use it down there it's not gonna make things better in any way it's just gonna make it disgusting and smell really really nasty if you don't know and in no matter of time you're just gonna ruin down there that it's not gonna like smell like you should not have any smell your lady should just be no smell like when you smell it it should be absolutely nature so like do not spray anything that thinking you're gonna help it like smell good you're just gonna ruin it do not do that so like yeah if you want to like uh clean down there because i've heard a lot of people saying that don't use soap down there because if you use soap it's just gonna ruin it it's just gonna like you know i agree with you guys 90 percent all of you guys saying do not use soap but there's some soap specially made for down there which is veggie seal or even african black soap which is like natural african black soap i use natural african black soap down there and i've been using it for years and african black soap doesn't have any smell and i use it to do all soon i'm gonna link it in the comment section below please check it out so what i noticed is ever since i stopped taking caffeine my body as uh, like smell sweat smell different you know what i mean as a woman like i feel like caffeine too much caffeine just contributes like you know increase of bodies you know smell like like bad smell and yeah ever since i stopped taking like i said like i see different in my you know in my smell like i don't smell as conk as the way i used to smell before i'm just being honest with you guys i stopped to take caffeine to like decaf i stopped drinking anything that has to do with caffeine at all for the past moment and i must tell you guys i see changes in my like even all over on the inside part of my body i saw a lot of changes i know some girls cannot do without taking caffeine but like three four cups is just a lot if you're taking two before so like cut it down to one even half a cup like caffeine is just not gonna do the best for you when it comes to like your like your lady down there even like your armpit and everything like that it's just not gonna do the best for you so like think about what i just said there's so many drinks you can substitute caffeine to try to be awake in the morning there's so many drinks can help you like stay awake instead of taking caffeine so yeah men doesn't like women who doesn't shave i'm gonna repeat men doesn't like women who doesn't shave i know some religion might be like a religion or culture might be like against shaving but i just feel like men don't like women who doesn't why won't i shave it's just so like you don't want to be looking like a real forest down there you don't want to be looking like a real it doesn't drive men closer to you it's just so disgusting like no you gotta shave down there says like if you can't shave it all the way live like a nice mohawk down there make it look nice make it look presentable for your man you know this is not only like this is not only for you now like if you don't care about shaving like men like most men want you to look clean down there i don't want to be going inside of a bush and looking for like you know what to eat down there you want to make it look very very nice and presentable you know what i mean so you don't want to make it look like a bush you gotta shave you know there's so many shaving cream down there that you get out on the um, sorry uh at the store that you can pick up and apply you know i shave every other day some people shave every day i've seen some people shave like every day which is great but like i try to shave every other night but i don't want to even feel any hair down there it's just so gross and irritating you know and like i said if you want to shave it like you can use shaving cream along with uh with your shaving stick and when you're using shaving stick please do not use the girl the pink the girl whatever one the pink girly one use the matte one because the matte one cut it better it cleans it better the lady one doesn't cut it good trust me it just still leave it with like you know just like make sure you go for the main one it cleans it it takes it down it looks like a baby bum you know it looks very very nice down there you know your husband doesn't have to be looking for food before he can find it not like you know he's not gonna be going into your forest like look for something to eat so like you're just ready to go when you get in when you get in there it's like nice and clean not like you know that thing doesn't look good men don't like that you know like nobody wants that so yeah um make sure you use razor like man razor to shave along with your shaving cream you can shave every day if you want i don't know i don't shave every day i do down there every other day because i'm so paranoid like oh 
and especially when it starts growing it looks like in grow hair i hate those so much like no so you want to make sure your lady is ready to go like a nice looking baby bump, you know another thing that i want to i want to touch is the ingrow hair and the ingrow hair you want to make sure you scrub on it make sure you have i use the coconut scrub i feel like i should be showing you guys everything i use okay i'm gonna okay let me show you guys okay so um after i shaved and to avoid the ingrow hair because ingrow hair doesn't look good it looks disgusting it looks gross ingrow hair and not cute they're not beautiful and yeah you don't want that make sure after you shave use a scrub down there like on top of it so and wherever you need to put it even you're on your armpits like i hate ingrow hair you would never find me with an ingrow hair i feel like i should show you guys oh this is you know what i mean like no what i do is i use this coconut scrub exfoliating right down there every time i shave it's the same one that i use for my body and it still works down there for you too and it looks like this kind of harsh it might be a little like hot like pepperish burning but like it just treat me you just treat it so and you don't feel itchy after you use it you know how you like shave and you start feeling like itchiness and all that you want to make sure you scrub very well and you rinse it and you're good to go and there's no ingrow hair yo your man will be like oh my gosh what have you done this time it looks so good it looks so presentable oh and another thing that i want to mention about this soap before i go some people when you're washing down there when you're washing right down there make sure you wash between your thighs your legs do not ignore it. it's not only in there that you're washing you're also washing your thigh eyes like beside it if you ignore it during your period it can become really really dark like just inside of your thigh just become really dark you know just because you don't scrub it properly but when you notice when you start scrubbing it it become more clear you use this body scrub on there because you see how some people have like black on the inside of their tie, inside their, like two tie, their two legs down there and it's like really really dark, it's because they don't scrub it, they only focus on the inside, they don't focus on the outer part so you want to make sure like you scrub it, it doesn't look cute at all, I've seen, I've seen friends with like, you know they will have like a nice beautiful looking tie right and down there it's like so dark, so yeah, you want to make sure you start scrubbing that part every time, remember that. Another thing that I want to talk about is letting your lady breathe let it breathe when you're home on my vlog channel like i vlog without wearing my bra um like i'll wear like my pjs because i do like a daily vlog over on my channel and i got a lot of women coming after me and be like oh you need to wear bra when you're home yo you need to let your body breathe okay just because yeah we want to like look good all the time doesn't mean if your body doesn't breathe this not only down there like take off your underwear at night if you know you're not the kind of person that discharge a lot or doesn't discharge that i don't have discharge problems so i think i'm very grateful when it comes to that some people have like you know discharge but if you know like you discharge a lot just buy like a panty liner and put it on it under your you know your shorts that you're gonna wear to bed or something just make sure you want to let that or you can even wear like overseas gram granny's pants or granny's underwear you know buy some i have that too i have like grannies on the way that i wear like just oversized on me at night you don't have to like you know you don't have to put on your district every time let your lady breathe all the time when you are you know when you're not on your period when you're home when you're free when no one is looking at you when you don't have to be outside even like bra too you don't have to wear your bra every time at home when you're not doing anything you know down there we have this sweat that just accumulates all the time when you have bra on let it break i get it you don't want your breast to be saggy but when you already have two three kids are you kidding me some people just don't want the honest like it's gonna be saggy it's it, the only thing you can do is just go like go to some surgery and tie it off so if you're telling me oh my god it's not saggy and then da, 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 like i have to get and it's still up okay sweetie let's just be honest after you breastfeed and you have kids it's gonna be down that's just it it's just nature it's not like you're doing anything wrong it's not like you're doing there's nothing you're doing wrong you breastfed and yeah so um let it breathe let it breathe it just release a lot of stuff out of your body even your body process more when his body is not in like tension all the time another thing that drives men crazy is when you when you smell funny 
always make sure you don't go outside even in the morning not only outside without putting your deodorant on always put your deodorant i don't know which one you like i use the same one that i use all the time it's just the secret secret uh, stick some people say spray one is good some people say the white one is good i use the same one which is this one um which is this one i use it all the time i don't have a problem with the crust you know it doesn't matter if you think it gives you crust you don't have to use this one you can use a spray one but for me i've been using this for years and it's still the same thing that i use all the time and it's just this one so yeah you want to make sure you put on a deodorant and if you have like a body odor my advice to you because this happened to a sister my actually one of my little sister like right there when she sweat and she's always like sweating she started using the men's one so if you think you have like a conk strong body odor or you sweat a lot down there trust me start using the men's one and it will help you a lot we black people don't wash our hair all the time but that doesn't mean we're not gonna take care of our hair what i usually do is when i have my braids on is i put like a few drops of shampoo in a spray bottle and the water and i spray it in my hair and i rub it in and i use my own this that i got from dollar i actually got this from dollar and it's not good and i only like it because it's a head to toe body spray and you can use it all over your body from head to toe and it smells so good you don't want your mind coming home and like one like give you a hug and smell you from you smell you from your hair your hair smell like rats like a, like a dead mouse no you don't want that you want to make sure you like find something on amazon even like if you're in toronto like go to like a dollar store section and this is so cheap and you don't have to smell like you don't have to spend like 50 70 dollars on all of those things you feel like, so many things that are affordable down out there that still works amazingly okay you don't have to spend like 100 200 dollars for all these things no you can go to dollar Ramon. this is from dollar Ramon, and it's like head to toe and it smells delicious and i got a lot of compliments from my husband husband from my friends you know i got a lot of compliments from there and trust me it's amazing it's been so amazing and yeah um yeah i got this from my local dollar store and you can pick this up from even at shoppers drug mart uh pharmacies you can find head to toe uh spray it doesn't have to be for your hair alone it can be yeah there's so many things that you can find that are coming up now and this one is called free and lovely and you are honestly and I only pay like what four dollars and it works so well I got compliments every time I spray this on so amazing and yeah and the last time I went there they don't have it but the guy told me they will be happy because I want to go pick more and yeah the thing that I want to share with you guys is a lot of us ignore to clean our ears every day inside your ears we forgot to clean our ears every day which is disgusting one thing I usually do so I don't forget is my ears when I come out from the back I make sure I clean my ears all the time it's not only inside my ears I make sure like I I, I use three cotton balls for each and which is like I go from top clean inside clean out around my piercings especially for us that has like our piercings we forget to clean our earrings this black thing that accumulates at the back of your hook earrings it's disgusting we don't remember to clean them I do not I do not go without cleaning my piercings my earrings full of dark stuff which is like you know all the sweat everything is just accumulating in one please do not leave that there it stinks it smell you don't want your man to be kissing that you don't want anybody to even see that you don't even want to show that always take out your earring get like your old toothbrush scrub inside of it and clean it i clean my ears from top inside around my piercing i throw it out i take another um cutting cutting board i go inside my ears i clean it out there's usually nothing inside because i cleanse it every day but that doesn't stop me from cleaning it and i take the last one i go around the back of my ears the back clean it that's what i do every day and i do the same thing on the left side please do not ignore this it does not smell good it does not i don't think anybody want to eat that in 2019 i don't think anybody want to kiss that and i don't even think anybody want to see that in 2019 it's disgusting it's disgusting so yeah the thing that i want to say is for all of us because i do it too the shower that's like a nighttime shower i shower at night time but that doesn't mean when i wake up in the morning i do not i don't wash my my private part i make sure i wash my lady 
in the morning when I wake up. Make sure you also change your underwear in the morning. Just because, you know, you already went to the bathroom and pee and used just tissue paper to wipe it. You have to make sure you actually, you know, wash it twice. If you're you shower at night, do not wait all the way to night time before you clean it. Make sure you wash it in the morning when you wake up. And when you take your shower at night time, make sure you do it. And when you're a morning shower, make sure before you go to bed, you actually clean it. Because you don't want to be like, because oh, I already wash it in the morning, I took a shower. And your husband is ready for you at night time. He's like, you know, some stuff, scuffing, stinky thing comes out from there. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good. You know, man runs. He will pick a razor. He'll be like, oh, I'm good, babe. Not tonight. You know, you don't want that. We don't want that. You want to make sure you are intact. We are like, we, we are self like We don't, we don't take care of ourselves. We think about our kids, our husband, and we forget. We only do 1% to ourselves. But this time, after this video, you want to tell yourself, at least you want to give yourself 30% of your time which include like taking care of everybody remember like what do i need to do if you're morning person that get up in the morning and wear makeup and do it my husband doesn't stay home all day he go to school and go to work so what i usually do in the morning he sees me like the way i am because i have to take care of the kids by the time he comes back at night time yo i gotta be looking like a snack i gotta taste like a snack you know what i mean so you don't want to drive him away you want to make sure like you care about him and caring for him doesn't mean like oh you have to cook for him you have to do this no Caring for him means that you want to be presentable to him. You want to take care of yourself for him. So when he's ready for you, because I'm sure he's doing the same thing for you. So when he's ready for you, you know, it's like into you. Like it doesn't want to let you go. That's how I see it. Even if it's like going to look outside, you know. It won't look outside when it thinks of what I have at home is already a snack. It's already a really big donut. It will not look out like that. So you want to make sure you wash you brush your mouth twice a day in the morning. I don't know what toothpaste you use. I use the Crest one and I use Colgate sometimes. It doesn't matter, it depends on which one is on sale. Um, what I usually do is I make sure um, I brush my teeth twice a day and I make sure I go in and out of my teeth, you know. Make sure you clean. The space in between your teeth are also disgusting. There's so many things you can pick up from dollar store to like clean your teeth in between the space. There's so many things that hide in there and it's not you. It's just those things that hide in there stinks after a while when they don't get out. So make sure you have those things taken care of. And if you like, if you don't feel comfortable, if you think like you already brushed and you still don't feel comfortable, your mouth is stinky, please always have your gum. Excel is your friend. When you chew your gum, you're, you're presentable every time. You talk to people, you don't have to worry. You have like virginal delivery during, you know, birth. We all suffer from like, you know, losing lady. Like most of us who have one, two, three, four, five babies, whatever, we all suffer from that. But there's so many things that are natural that you can do that most of you guys might not know and some of you guys might know is aloe vera you guys know i love my aloe vera that thing is god sent to everybody if you don't know i'm gonna tell you how you should know now but i'm gonna tell you aloe vera is really good for like the wall of your you know you renew your ph balance and it helps you you know it helps you tighten it up it's not all the way but the more you use it the more it's gonna keep closing. Aloe vera is a very strong property and it helps when it comes to like stuff like this. When you have anything losing, even for weight loss, even for so many things this is good for, even for acne. Uh, a lot of people use it for acne, for weight loss, for so many things, but some people don't know that it's actually good for down there. Yes, it is good for down there. It is good like to close it, to like tighten it. All you have to do is just take the inside, the jelly part of inside, rub it in your hand, and like rub it um on the wall of your you know your lady it's aloe vera is not expensive do not use use the natural leaves that's the one you want to use do not use concentrated um aloe vera gel do not buy anything from the counter like uh like a spray aloe vera gel or a paste aloe vera gel don't do that buy the natural leaves itself cut it yourself at home take the inside out rub it in your hand you can even use one for like um whole aloe vera for like a month if you know how to use it properly i use mine for at least the last one for like a week and a half because i also use it for weight loss i use it for my body i use it for so many things for my hair so yeah i use it like it's one of my you know one of my go-to every day that i use i cannot do without aloe vera 
um you can restore them in the fridge and they will still be fine and fresh okay guys so we have come to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed as much as i enjoyed filming this i'm so thankful that i finally got to sit down and make this video because it's highly requested and yes thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe i would really appreciate it follow me on my vlog channel i have a vlog channel i also have a cooking channel yeah yeah girl your girl knows how to cook i need you know you know, gotta know everything if you're wife if you're mom you gotta know everything in one so yeah follow me on my cooking channel let's cook together let's go let's cook i got some good great recipe going on over there follow me i'm gonna leave it in the comment section below and yeah i want to thank you guys so much for today and like i said don't forget to like thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys It's V kills. Bang, original. Popping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls them a come, them a want, them a take her. Bad man, me a coming, me a wanna take her. Girls them a come, them a want, they none the liquor.